Roger line. He's still there. Carl, three wide. You're in the clear. Left. Clear all around. Jeez. Hello everyone, welcome to another video, welcome to a brand new season on iRacing and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, as you know, I like to drive a multitude of cars, I don't just stick to one, but what I'm going to try and do this season is drive a different car every single week and at the end of the season, are we going to be in a net iRating gain or a net iRating loss? And am I indeed a jack of all trades? but master of none. Now, I've got to be a bit clever with the car track selection. This week, we are going to Alton Park, but we're driving the Formula V. Now, the Formula V, a rookie car, but it's really difficult to drive and it can kill you in a heartbeat. But I've got to try and think every single week, which car am I most likely to gain I rating in? And for week one, I think it could be the Formula V at Alton Park. So for this series, we're going to qualify because I want to give myself the best chance I can to gain I rating. And for this one, we've qualified in pole position. So all we need to do is stay in front and win the race. Easier said than done. But before we actually jump on track, I want to say thank you to the video sponsor, PC Specialist. So if you're in the market for a pre-built computer system, please check out the link to PC Specialist down below in the description. I've built my own computers for years, but none perform like a PC built by a professional. My content has never looked as good and my recordings have never been as smooth. And as a content creator, it's imperative that when I turn on the computer, it just works. So check out the link in the description and make sure you use the code DAVECAM for 30 pounds off your order. Right, on with the race, seven laps around Alton Park in the Formula V, starting on pole, can we get off to a really good start and gain some I rating? Well, let's get on track and find out. 12 minutes. Okay, Dave. Here we go. Very competitive here. We ought to win How this. do I start this? Get ready. Keep your nose clean. Go, go, go. They've got a flyer behind. They've got a flyer. We might have to concede this in the turn one. Left. Still there. Right. Still there. Hold your line. He's still there. Carl, three wide. You're in the clear left. Clear all around. Jeez. Holy moly. Right. That could have gone really badly. Nice, start. nice and easy now. It's ours to throw away now. Let's try and pull away from Chris. Could have done without the forex though. We'll have to have a look at that at the end of the race, see what happened. I don't think we were directly involved. I think we just kind of got the 4X as somebody went off. Broken, right? Put the chat on. I turned it off just for the start of the race. I should have left it on, really. <laughs> I know you know your car's broken, but you're going to block anyway. Yeah, I thought we left loads of room. In fact, I'm sure we did. Right, should be ours to uh, throw away now. Should be pretty straightforward. Just need to try and keep this on track. Don't want any more incident points. I wanted to get the Formula V out the way. I was going to have to race at some point this season. 
in this challenge. So I thought, let's do a track which I know quite well. And it's pretty easy. You're only using two gears, third and fourth. But if that didn't happen, we could have been in serious trouble. The gap to Adams. Because we would have probably had to concede two positions there, I think. Probably just a little bit over keen at the start, somebody. I think we might have been three wide, but we'll have a look after the race. It looks like it's Adams. Look at the relative, it's all kicking off up there, isn't it? But just because we're in the lead doesn't mean to say that we're going to walk away with this because the Formula V will spit you off if you're not careful. Although it looks like there's been a lot of casualties in this race. It's all about momentum, this car. Put the Delta on. <laughs> Car's all right though, thankfully. So I don't have a clutch pedal on right now, which is why I'm not using the H-pattern with the clutch. Can't tell you why. Well, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Classified, as Tom Cruise said in Top Gun. Aaron, the guy in P2, is up nine positions. Incredible. We know who the biggest winner is going to be. So we definitely dodged a bullet at the start, folks. Definitely. I could have been pretty spicy as well. All right, Dave, the next car is one lap behind. an incident in Dear Leap. It looks like Matthew, yellow flag, keep you Stay there, mate. always gone. That's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. You're now in the lead. Fastest lap. You've just done a 158.4. So this series is going to be a bit of a challenge. Obviously, there's going to be cars that I'm not really that comfortable in. The Formula V is OK, especially around Alton Park. As long as you don't push it too much, it's not too bad. But as soon as you start pushing it and breaking a little bit too hard on corner entry, then it does get a little bit unhappy, the shall we say. The is increasing. It's now 9.5 seconds. But there's going to be cars in this series which I'm not going to be overly comfortable with. Might have to dip my toe into Just a hypercar. Left. Hold your nerve. We can win this. Super Formula, maybe. Depends where things are. So that's completely different to this. So I'm going to have weeks which are pretty easy. And I'm going to have weeks 
which are not. And obviously the aim at the end of the 12 week season is to be in positive eye rating overall. So you're going to see every race that I finish. If I get a meatball and don't finish the race, then I'm not going to count that one. But if I spun out now, for example, and ended up going all the way to the back, this race would count. So I'm going to count the bad ones as long as I finish without getting any kind of meatball. So we're going to have to take the rough with the smooth. There's an incident in Cascades. We think it might be Adams. Jeez, Chris. Clear left. Thanks, Chris. Jeez, mate. No problem, Dave. So shout out to Chris and Tony, said hello before the race. Both watch my content for whatever reason. Okay, Dave. They've obviously got nothing better remaining. to do if they're watching this garbage. But shout out those guys. Really nice when people say hello. So it should be two more laps. What's the time of doing night? Yeah, two more laps. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. But he used those two curbs there for to get the car rotated. You missed the first one, second apex is difficult. I mean we could push on a little bit more here but we don't need to i need to stop doing that this season push it on when you don't need to only go as fast as you need to go to keep the position you've got or to get a, pos a position That's you two need minutes left two minutes we're currently setting the pace your lap time was 158.3 you're two tenths off the pace in sector one I'd love to go in the Formula V in real life. I mean, I probably wouldn't fit in it. My fat ass wouldn't fit in it. Although my fat ass isn't as fat as it used to be. I want a bit of a health kick. If you've watched my Euro truck videos lately, I did talk about that in one of them. Just calorie counting. I've lost about 16 pounds, 16 and a half pounds in about five weeks so it's nothing too why did I go forth so it's nothing too drastic all I'm doing is watching what I'm eating counting the calories I've never ever calorie counted before never needed to but this last 12 months I've I've been out of control with regards to eating chocolate like ridiculous amounts of chocolate every day just like firing chocolate bars down my throat so I thought now's the time to make a change never ever needed to calorie count before because I've always gone to the gym and been quite sporty and obviously in the job that I used to have I used to have fitness tests every year and I used to have to be physically fit to do the job anyway you know if you've got to chase after somebody on, Dave. one more lap keep it together we'll win this we've got to be able to friggin that run was a 158.3 good consistency keep them coming so i'm still eating well i'm eating probably more now than i was as crazy as that sounds but i'm just not eating rubbish 
And if there's enough interest, when I've lost a bit more weight, I'm not going to go crazy. I just want to get down to about 200 pounds, which is what I used to be. So if I can get down to a couple hundred pounds, I was 200, 228 pounds when I started, which is mental. I'm down to 212 now. So if I can get down to 200 pounds, then that'll do me. And if people are interested in knowing what I did, then I'll, uh, I'll maybe make a video if it will help people or if people are interested. Now we don't want to be taking a wheel off on these tyre walls. That would really ruin my day. remaining don't want to hit the first apex that much one more turn and we can call week one a success pressure was on being car number one as well so if it doesn't go right you're going to lose big time which will obviously hurt us over the next few weeks we'll have to try and recover that but week one we can take that off Nice Success. one, Dave. Great win. You deserved that today. Thank you, Jim. But that means we can't drive the Formula V again this season. In this series. So that removes an option. And as the weeks go on, it's going to be more difficult to choose what we're going to race and when. But take that. Happy days. Right, let's have a look at the carnage. And as you will see, we did indeed dodge a bullet. So we didn't get a bad start, but the guy behind us got an absolute flyer. So we very much had to concede turn one and take a tighter line because I didn't know how much he was going to turn in. But then the other guy behind starts to get involved. And as you'll see, he gives the car in front a little bit of a love tap and we got lucky. Just look at where his front wheel goes, right in between ours. If that made contact with any one of our wheels, we would have been off. It doesn't get much closer than that. Absolutely crazy. Well, let's have a look at the rest of the carnage. There will be plenty of spins, no doubt. Don't go down a second gear. That's what happens. Oh dear. No. Oh. His car's bent. It's not going to turn very well. I turned actually all right. Yeah, second gear. He's got a good run. Where's he going to go? Right into the back of him. No time for blinkers. Is that second gear again there? Anybody that wants to drive the Formula V, stay away from second gear at all costs. Oh dear. It was all going so well. See second gear? No good can come from going down to second gear. <laughs> oh. Oh, it grew back. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, game over. If the same thing keeps happening, do something different. <laughs> do something different.
downshift over rotation. There we go. But that's it. Right, let's have a look at the results. So there were two splits for this race. This was the top split. The strength of field was 1,658. So we lost safety racing 0 0.06. We're just getting that 4x. But we gained I racing, so that's a good start to the season. We gained 31. So we got the win. Aaron a crack in P2 and Gary P3. We got the fastest lap of the race, a 58 flat. And as I said, we had four incident points. So we don't need to ask who the biggest winner is. We already know it's going to be Aaron in P2. He gained 88 I rating. And the biggest loser is going to be Matthew Downs. He lost 82. So there we go. Mission accomplished for week one. We lost a little bit of safety rating, but we gained 31 I rating. And let me tell you, this race could have had a whole different outcome. We were so lucky on the opening lap. But now we've driven the Formula V, that means we can't drive it again in this series for the rest of the season. So again, next week, I've got to be quite clever in which car track that I use. We need to maximize the potential for an I-rating gain. So if you did like this video, please remember, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.